The National Collegiate Athletic Association is an organization that governs college-level athletics programs. The association has monopsony control over college athletics and is very profitable, generating over $1 billion in revenue each year. However, it limits the type and amount of compensation given to student-athletes. In National Collegiate Athletic Association v. Alston, the United States Supreme Court considered whether the association's compensation restrictions violated antitrust law. In 2014, a group of student-athletes, including Sean Alston, filed a lawsuit in federal district court against the National Collegiate Athletic Association. The athletes alleged that the association's rules limiting student-athlete compensation violated Section 1 of the Sherman Act. The association defended its rules, arguing that the compensation limits promoted amateurism and distinguished college athletics from professional athletics. At trial, the district court conducted a full rule-of-reason analysis. The court found that due to the association's monopsony power in the relevant market, its compensation limits had significant anti-competitive effects. Although the court recognized that compensation limits unrelated to education served the pro-competitive benefit of maintaining amateurism, it concluded that the association's limits on education-related compensation violated Section 1 by unreasonably restraining competition among schools for college athletes. The district court enjoined the association from limiting education-related compensation. The association appealed the injunction, arguing that the district court erred by conducting a rule-of-reason analysis instead of a quick-look analysis. The Ninth Circuit disagreed and affirmed the district court's ruling. The Supreme Court granted cert.